a pan Indian restaurant. So we do the fine dining Indian restaurant here and all in a hotel. Out of 13 hotels, we have five uh, Baluchi in India and one in uh, London. This is a historical place, 180 years old building. This hotel was before grammar school and uh, we are sitting in a gallery and uh, next to we have uh, Baluchi in the Great Hall and then we have a terrace. We kept the whole history there so we didn't change anything, even floor we, are, we have a same. So if you come in Baluchi, you will find for sure the best curry, best biryani, best papadam and best pakora. Also you will find the innovative Indian who cook the lobster, we cook the lobster. Curry house doesn't cook the lobsters. And we also discover the food from the India, different, different parts. So we serve South Indian breakfast, and then we make uh, lunch and dinner service. And we have uh, like 15 chefs working from like 20 years, 30 years in India, and then 10 years in London. So they are all quite mature chefs we have. And if you taste our dal, you will feel, oh, you will travel already in India. So we do the traditional food. India is so big. And if you go in other street, different street than what you, where you are, you will find you are in different country. So different language, different alphabet in a bus or anything. And even food and spice, they have a different. So if you go in a South India, in South Indian food is totally different than North Indian food. So I'm from Nepal, basically. Nepal is next to India and uh, next to China. When I was 14 years old, because of money, background and the other things, I moved to India for a work reason. Uh, I didn't know that I was going to be a chef or not. So I just went to work as a kitchen porter when I was 14 years old. I never seen that big hotel, or so five-star hotel. I never thought a hotel can be that big because I'm from very small village. And, um, I went in India, I was amazed. I see the chef who are waiting a white uh, hat, long one, and uh, jacket and everyone is looking same, everything. So I got interested to learn what they do. So I discovered tandoor there at first time. And I tasted the naan bread and that make me so much interested to how you make this bread because I never had a tasted in my back home. And when I go to make with the chef and that tandoor was like burning everything and 400 degrees and coming charcoal fire and everything. So make me more interested. So I started to learn and then I went to one day to a request executive chef. Can I uh, get a chance to work as a chef? He was so impressed with me. And uh, he said, yes, why not? So he, after one week later, he gave me a chef jacket and I start to work in a tandoor. So burning tandoor, putting charcoal, making naan dough and everything. So after working two years, I moved to a city called Baroda in Gujarat, uh, very near to Mumbai. I moved only reason because I want to study about the culinary school while I'm working, but I need money as well. So one hotel, five star hotel had a, on top floor, they had a catering school. So I went there and I request to manager, I want to work part time and uh, I want to study as well. And however you want to give me salary, I will accept that one, but I need some little bit of money, the rest I can pay for college. And he say, and he impressed with me my interest and he said, you don't need to pay anything. You work here and you study here. So I got my diploma from there. So well, two years hotel and catering management. So I finished my culinary school and then I, my journey start. I came here uh, UK 2011. I started in a well-known uh, Indian restaurant and then I moved to Michelin Star restaurant. I was working in Benares uh, with uh, Chef Atul Kocher. He was the first Indian chef to achieve Michelin Star. And I learned Michelin food in Benares, what called Michelin, Indian Michelin. I worked in a French restaurant as well for one year to just learn the cooking technique of French cuisine. And that was a success for me. Nepal have a food influence from the Tibet, China and India. So in Nepalese cuisine is an inspiration. So like a very famous dish, we have a momos and they inspired from Tibetan steamed dumpling. So I have a lots of influence from other other cuisine. I create my recipe uh, equal to that same. And then for a modern uh, touch, I travel and eat in a different, different restaurant. So whenever I eat, I instantly think of oh, what we can make, make uh, similar to this in Indian cuisine. Because Indian cuisine have a hundred of spice, hundred of ingredients, what the European cuisine don't use. Eh? So I got idea and I'll base have a note 
I come home and I draw myself in a drawing what it can be done and I change the cooking way they cooking uh, French cooking always cooking in oven and pan and now I can uh, pair the food with wine as well I, I do take uh, inspiration from uh, French cuisine for sure to combine the flavors so when you eat your whole dish and uh, French cuisine, you have a puree on the side, crust on the side, crumble on the side, all separate, not like a, everything mixing together. But Indian cuisine is all mixing together. So I try to take the inspiration from there. And also we, India, don't have a culture to eat uh, a medium rare or rare, everything well done to be. If you see the little bit of blood and they're in there, say, well, this is raw, you're going to have to complain. So I learned this one from first time while I'm working in a Raymond Blanc restaurant. I try to teach my chef to how to cook medium rare, rare in a tandoor. So quite very, very hard. Now we serve lamb, medium rare, medium, well done as per requirement. We have a nanari concept. So nanari concept is very, very unique concept. So six course naan and chutneys and we make front of the guest and we serve there and uh, pair with wine. I'm very proud of that. So this concept is not my concept. This is a Baluchi concept. What we all Baluchi, we have this concept. But I, I love it. I love it, this concept. And I think uh, this is uh, worth to experience the uh, Nanari concept. Yeah.